Welcome back YouTube, it is Old Chevy 4x4 in the flesh, guys, actually in front of the camera for the first time in a while. So, uh, how are y'all doing? Hope you're doing fine. Uh, it's December the 16th as I'm talking to you. This video is going to be like my probably my last shop update for 2018. Uh, most likely. The next video I'll see will be a Merry Christmas video followed up by a uh, year wrap-up video, the year-end video, you know, with a Colt 45, more than likely. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But, purpose of this video, first of all, I'll let you know I am still here, still alive, still kicking. Uh, second of all, to apologize for not visiting you guys' channels and your videos and, and leaving the comments like I like to. I like to keep up with all y'all, but is what it is, guys. There's just not enough hours in the day. There's a lot of really great folks out there, a lot of people out there that I consider friends, and I do try to sporadically hit you know y'all's videos and then and uh, leave a comment here and there but just with work and other things i've been too busy to keep up with everybody so for that i apologize uh, i'm not an, not unlike 99.9 .9 of all the rest of y'all just got to go to work get the job done get a paycheck and squeeze in a little youtube time here and there and keep up with what's going on with all my buddies so what's been going around uh, going on going around going uh, it's not been going around what's been going on here in the shop ain't been shit going around um just just been busy keeping up with uh some little piddly projects what y'all don't see you know what y'all don't know behind the camera but it, it's not too hard to tell man i got junk i got i got a mess i got a lot of junk i've been trying to sort through stuff and, and filter through some stuff and either just separate from it completely or organize it and, and do different things with it you know outside i had a lot of stuff under tarps and whatnot and it first of all it was an eyesore Second of all, it's just, you know, the tarps, they rip, and you get water intrusion, and you get all kinds of problems, and you don't really know it until you go looking. So we bought a, uh, one of the little shelters in a box, a little carport thing, you know, a little canvas garage in a box, and put that up, moved everything out of the way yesterday, even kind of cleared out the area, set it up today, filled it back up today, and it didn't take long to fill it up, let me tell you. But got everything that was under tarps and just kind of out there, semi exposed to the elements got them inside of this this little carport thing we'll take a walk out there in just a minute because out there there are some things that y'all have not seen uh have not seen at all some of which i've had for pff, over a year a couple of years now and i have not showed them to you but we'll take a walk out there in a second um i guess we'll go out there right now because i really don't have anything else to talk about here in the shop i've been uh, just just piddling around with little little tiny stuff i did pick up amazon had one of these little sale deals and i picked up some some little burner, some little stove burner thing, but you know, I can't tell you what the brand is because I can't read that language. But one of those little folding up stove burner deals, you know, it goes on like uh, these little butane type tanks. But we'll look forward to seeing that, hopefully, you know, in like a kayaking lunch video or something like that where we're out and about and doing things. But uh, we'll spin the camera around, we'll take a walk outside and see what we got going on. So as I'm walking out here, guys, I'm going to throw in some clips because I've had plenty of, of stuff going on. I just haven't showed any of it. I uh, picked up a cool little heater. Oh. Of course, some more cast iron. picked up this little engine here and check this out man for 15 bucks i believe it's a little eight horsepower brakes aluminum block it's complete got the oil bath air filter a little two-piece small flow jet uh three quarter inch you know exhaust pipe and, and inlet there so i figured it's an eight horsepower i'm guessing by the color probably came off like a montgomery wards or something similar maybe a simplicity branded item who knows but you know hey, the thing's complete turns over it's got compression tank's got some shellac going on in there but other than that Hell, I'm not going to argue with the price. And while we're here, we'll take a step back and show you the wonder that is my new little carport, my little shop in a box, or, or garage in a box, shed in a box, whatever you want to call it, and all the stuff you probably haven't seen. I'm going to start over here with this little generator. I picked this guy up from a guy at work, uh, home light, 2,500 watts, got five horsepower Briggs on it, runs, works as it should. Uh, that will be a forge at some point. I picked that up from a lady down in... Uh, like down towards Loretto, Tennessee, down towards the Amish people down there. She thought it was a fish cooker, and I thought it was something totally different. So it's a big old cast iron brake drum. I've already got a blower and some other miscellaneous parts to set up a forge, so I think that's going to be what that's going to turn into. Uh, a little 21 and, 21 and a half, 21, whatever, Vanguard engine, oil cooler and all that good stuff. That's just looking for something to be put on. That is the 
simplicity that we went to Indiana and picked up earlier this year. That's the one that came with the saw and a uh, sickle bar mower and, and all that good stuff. A cultivator sweep, I believe, come with it. Got the engine sitting in the shop. I got to re-ring it and uh, get it back on there. Ahead of that is a Bolins. I know y'all haven't seen this one. This was given to me by my wife's uncle. Her uncle Bernie sent this down and we ended up renting a U-Haul truck or a U-Haul van. And Julie brought it back down from New York. And it is pretty much as barn fresh complete as it's going to be. Short the crank for the engine. I do not have a crank for that engine. You can't belt it up to another, at least to, a, to an average small Briggs, because it's got that flat belt pulley. So if you all know where I can come up with a crank for that engine, do me a favor and let me know, because I'd kind of like to see if that'll start and run. Uh, ahead of that is another one I don't think I've showed you all. This is, I've had this one for two years now. It was a Christmas gift from the missus. I still don't know what kind of tractor it is. I don't know who made it. It's got a Wisconsin engine. Does start, does run, does move. Um, well, I take that back. Y'all seen this in a, a year-end video as it tried to run me over in the shop. And over here we got a Roth Industries, another Wisconsin-powered uh, walker, a little two-wheeler tractor. My hobo cart. Don't mind that. But... Uh, Single speed forward, it's got reverse too, which is pretty cool for, for one of the older tractors. Again, when you're talking into the 1940s, a lot of these tractors were single speed forward and it was it. So it's pretty cool to have this, have a reverse gear in it, and you need it because this is a heavy sucker, let me tell you. Uh, of course, I had a that's my little Planet Junior, y'all have seen that. Simplicity cultivator. That cultivator sweep goes to the uh, mystery tractor, the unknown tractor over there. And my Simp M1 here. Uh, weed Whipper. And of course, the big VB with the uh the saw the cordwood saw that came from indiana as well and that pretty much wraps up the tour of what i got in here guys i hate to say it but i could have a few more of these and fill them up too i am just pleased to get everything out everything that's in here was under tarps and and you know like i said the tarps tear up and get get crappy and whatnot so it's good to have them in here where you can actually see them and inspect them and whatnot and they're a little easier to get to but uh is what it is i've also got that little holder over here, you know, you gotta have one of those little holders in case you got a can. You can set that can right in the, hole, in the holder there, you know what I mean? Well, that is what I had for y'all. Just wanted to give you an update, let you know we are still here, alive and kicking. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching the videos, checking out the channel, leaving the comments and all that cool stuff that y'all do. We'll see you in the next one.